MAPE's BBA accredited MAPE Therm System is a complete system of products for all types of external wall insulation projects. MAPE Therm AR1GG is a unique multi purpose product that can be used as an adhesive for insulation panels and a render reinforcing coat. It is also suitable for use as a brick slip adhesive and a dash receiver coat. MAPE Therm AR1GG is available in grey or white. MAPETHERM NET is used as the reinforcing layer within MAPETHERM AR1GG when used as a render. It provides superior resistance to cracking. Silen Color Base Coat When applied prior to Silen Color Finishing Coats, this base coat provides excellent adhesion and prevents sporadic drying. Tinted to match the top coat, it provides greater depth of color. Silen Color Tonachino is a textured top coat available in a number of grain sizes and unlimited color range. Prior to commencing with the installation, the wall must be sound, strong and free from contamination. Gypsum substrates should be perfectly dry and free from dust. Consult the specification regarding any substrate primers if required. Mapetherm system installation begins with the cutting and fixing of the first base rail. The base rail should be installed at DPC level and fixed at 300 mm centers. Always check for line and level with a spirit level. Once this is established, subsequent base rails can be fixed to adjacent walls. MAPETHERM AR1GG is first used as an adhesive coat. This is suitable for the installation of all MAPETHERM system installation panels. MAPETHERM EPS Plus insulation panels are shown. Other variations include mineral fiber, phenolic and cork. Available panels vary from 40 mm to 300 mm in thickness. Once the panel size required has been established, expanded polystyrene or EPS boards are easily cut to size by saw or hot wire cutters. Mix the 25 kg bag contents of MAPETHERM AR1GG with 5 to 6 liters of clean water. Stir the mix, preferably with a low-speed mixer, until a smooth paste is obtained. It is always recommended to double mix the product, so let the first mix stand for 5 minutes and stir again briefly before use. The mix remains workable for approximately 3 hours. Using a stainless steel trowel, apply MAPETHERM AR1GG to the insulation panel. There are two methods of application. Number 1. Fully bonded and combed through with a notch trowel if the substrate is flat. Number 2. Applied around the perimeter with additional dabs in the center of the panel if the substrate is uneven. The panel is then offered to the wall with the first row inserted into the base rail. Each panel should be firmly pushed into place across the span of the panel to ensure the best possible adhesion. Ensure the boards are fitted tightly together. Measure door or window apertures to create exact sized L-shaped boards cut from full panels. This is recommended to eliminate the risk of cracking in these susceptible areas. Install ceiling strip where the insulation abuts any other building material, such as window sills or fascia boards, then fix into position. The boarding pattern should be interlocked on all internal and external corners. Once three to four boards have been installed, check their alignment with a straight edge. Windows will need to be protected from subsequent material application. For this, use MAPE Therm Frame Seal Beads. Their self-adhesive tape allows easy application to window jams. Remove the yellow tape and apply protection to the sacrificial strip. After a minimum period of 24 hours, MAPETHERM AR1GG will have sufficiently set to accept the installation of mechanical fixings. Drill holes through the insulation, insert fixings and hammer to the surface. The superior qualities of MAPETHERM AR1GG mean the amount of fixings can be reduced to two per board, with an increase around openings. A typical fixing pattern is shown. MAPETHERM AR1GG can then be applied to embed the MAPETHERM profile beads to external corners. Trim any excess mesh. Around openings, install additional reinforcement mesh. Apply MAPETHERM AR1GG at a thickness of approximately 3 mm and embed the stress patches into the wet render. Further to installing the beads, mix MAPETHERM AR1GG for the reinforcement coat. 
Apply the mix at 4 to 5 mm thickness over the elevation. To ensure correct thickness is applied, use the notched trowel to achieve a uniform surface. Cut the mapatherm net over size, ensuring all beads are overlapped. Adjoining mesh should be overlapped minimum 100 mm, as indicated on the mesh. Gently apply the mesh to the wet layer of mapatherm AR1GG. Then smooth over with a trowel to embed the mesh completely. Whilst still wet, apply a further 1 to 2 mm coat of Mapatherm AR1GG. Flatten out with a trowel or spatula and ensure no trowel marks are visible. After 2 to 3 days, the Mapatherm AR1GG should be sufficiently dry to accept Silen Colour Base Coat. This base coat will be tinted to match the subsequent top coat, in this case, a vibrant blue. Mix this base coat in its own container with a maximum of 10% water by volume with a low speed mixer and apply by brush or roller. If applying by roller, as shown, pour the mixed base coat into a tray and apply as you would a standard paint. After a minimum of 12 hours, the silen colour base coat will be dry and ready to receive a top coat. The silen colour tonachino featured is a silicone textured finish coat. Mix the product in the tub with a low-speed mixer and, if needed, water can be added up to a maximum of 2% by volume. To apply, use a stainless steel trowel and apply to the depth of the grain size, for example 1.5mm. Ensure the surface is fully covered with no exposure of the previous coat. Once an area of 2 to 3 square meters has been applied, finish off with a plastic textured trowel. Rubbing in a circular motion until an even textured finish is obtained. For further information, please refer to each product's technical data sheets, downloadable from www.mape.co.uk.